What's up guys, welcome back to Stone Valley, Illinois, and welcome to the dairy. We are trying to resurrect this old dairy farm here in Stone Valley because, well, there's no other dairies in Stone Valley right now. They are getting milk imported from other places, and we cannot have that because we are a farming community, or at least this used to be a farming community. Now, we find ourselves the only dairy in town, and really with the town on our back, so to speak. We need to produce some dairy so that things like ice cream stores and things like that can be produced. And hey, maybe we'll even produce them. But before we get all into fantasy thinking here, let's get all of this done. We've got to get all of this grass picked up. That way we can start making silage. Well, why do we got to make silage? Because we need that, we need hay, and we need the grass in order to make the TMR. And once we make the TMR, that's when we really start making money. But hey, let me shut up, let me get into this, and we are going to pick up some of this. I will be back with you in a little bit. And now 8.53 and we are still grabbing this grass. We are putting most of this in the silo because I've decided that I would like to make sure that our cows always have food. Then we can start making money off this silage because as you know, you're about three cuttings and, and on a good year, four cuttings of grass. And I think we're probably gonna be closer to the three just because of our luck. But either way, we've got two more cuttings of this grass and we are going to make a lot of money in silage. That much I know. So let's make sure that our cows don't die first. Let's make sure that we don't have to buy any more cow feed from Clever because that's costing us a fortune. And sure, you know, grass does not give you the most milk, but at the same time, it is free-ish. We're paying for the gas, of course. We had to buy the equipment, of course. But grass doesn't cost anything, so we're just going to keep getting that for right now. And then the next cutting, I think we'll save some for hay so that we can start making some hay. And of course, we'll have that silage from the first cutting already fermenting and hopefully ready to go. So that is the plans. That is the long term plans. But as you can see, there's a lot more grass swaths in this field, so we've got to get to it. So let's get back to work. Oh, oh, oh. 
And now all done with this field and it occurred to me that we're sitting here stockpiling all of this grass for the future and we have not fed our cows yet today. So we are going to take this last trailer load. We are going to feed them grass. They're not completely out, but they don't like when they get low. Okay, so we are going to make sure that we feed them again. That way they're happy, they're comfortable, and we can have a good second part of our day because we've got a lot to do. And what is that, of course? Well, Clever Motors has been calling. They want us to get all of the lime that's sitting in the middle of their uh, parking lot there. And honestly, I can't blame them. You know, we have been pretty, uh, pretty lax, pretty relaxed with getting all of that down there. We really need to get it because we're not paying rent there and we don't really know anybody that works there. So they're just kind of straight doing us a favor. So we definitely need to get down there, get the lime, and then we can get the milk truck. Yes, we're gonna get the milk, well, not the milk truck, it's a milk trailer, but we're gonna be able to transport all of this milk that we have, which is about 45,000 liters right now, as it stands, and we are going to be able to take it over to the creamery so that we can make some money, and I think a lot of money we will be able to make. So, let's get that going, let's go get this lime, and then we can start making some money and actually get rewarded for all of this work that we're doing. But hey, let's get down to Clever, let's get all of that going, and by the end of the day, I think we could have a lot more money in our bank accounts. And now all of the lime in the silo, and that's exactly where we need it. We will need that in a little bit, but not right now. Either way, it's not in Clever Motors' way. We don't want to anger them since well, they're the only store in town. Let's just be honest about it. We don't want to make them mad, but we are about to make them very happy because we are going to spend even more money down there with them. We are going to go get the milk trailer. That way we can transport all of this milk that our cows are making, like I said, 45,000 liters or so, and we can take that all to the dairy. That way we can make some money, and with that money, we can further invest in this farm. Of course, we definitely want to make our own productions. That is easily in the future, but let's go down and get that milk trailer, and we will continue to make money. And now back up here at the farm and we are ready to make money. We are going to go hook up to the milk tank and we are going to go to the dairy, which is 
down that road, if we didn't turn right here on the farm and we just kept going straight on that road, we would be very close to it. But hey, let's get some milk. Let's go down to the dairy. Let's see how much they give us per load because we've got a few loads here today to get rid of and to make money on. So it looks like $16,000 per load is what we are going to be able to grab here. And that's great news because our load only holds 8,000 liters and we've got about 41,000 in the tank back at the barn. So that means we are going to be able to make quite a bit of money and that is good because we need quite a bit of money but we are going to continue this and make a couple more trips that way we are able to see how much money we are going to be able to make by the end of the day All right, and that is the last load. We are going to end with $91,000 for the day. And honestly, that is a really good number for us. 91,000 will be able to do quite a bit, especially since our cows are making that every few days. That's great. We are going to wait until we get to about that number, about 41 to 50,000 liters. And then we are going to go down and make sales. That way we're not running there every day and costing ourselves money when we don't really need any money. Um, right now, we need money. We need to pay all of this back. Uh, and we need to make some money so that we can invest in the farm and by that I mean making our own dairy making our own dairy products and being able to sell more than just milk but that part's gonna have to wait because we are out of time but guys thanks so much for hanging out I really appreciate it if you like the video please hit the like button or the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next one